Mr. Speaker, this bill will greatly reduce crime by redefining as not crimes things that are now considered crimes and by releasing people in jail who should not be in jail, it will produce justice and it will reduce the expenses to the public. Mr. Speaker, I now yield two minutes to the distinguished gentlelady from California who has been such a great champion in the fight for this legislation, Ms. Lee. Gentlelady from California, Ms. Lee, is recognized for two minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I rise in strong support of H.R. 3617, the Moore Act. And I want to thank Speaker Pelosi, Leader Hoyer, Chairman Neal, and Chairman Nat Natalie. Let me just thank you for your persistence, your perseverance, and really hanging in there and bringing this to the floor because you know what the issues are and you know how important this is to repair the damage of the lives of so many people. So thank you, Chairman Nadler, so much. I want to also thank um, Congressman Blumenauer, my partner on so many issues and, of course, our speaker, uh, and Mr. Perlmutter, who's in the chair today, and um, everyone who has helped to bring this to the floor. And my condolences today um, with the family of our colleague, the late Representative Don Young, a champion on this issue. Uh, we honor, I honor his memory today as a founding member and co-chair of the Cannabis Caucus who voted for the Moore Act the first time it came to the floor. Also, let me thank our advocates for educating the public on this issue, which of course meant our members of Congress learn more about the importance of this that this is also a racial justice bill. Uh, it's the product of a long time, the work of so many for a long time. And of course, I want to salute our staff, Amy, Julie, Samira, Gregory, Kayla. There's so many staff, as a former staff, right? Look, I know how this was done, and I just want to thank our staff for uh, really doing the heavy lifting on this. The Moore Act, uh, yes, it includes my legislation, the Marijuana Justice Act and the Refer Act, which is the first marijuana racial justice bill introduced in Congress many years ago. This bill would end federal prohibition and decriminalize cannabis by removing it from the list of controlled substance act. That's what the, the Moore Act does. Make no mistake, yes, it is a racial justice bill. According to the ACLU, black Americans are nearly four times more likely to be arrested for cannabis-related crimes than white Americans, despite equal rates of use. These arrests can have a detrimental impact on a person's quality of life and can lead to difficulty finding employment, securing housing, and assessing other benefits. Am I having Lady, 30 seconds. General, but, thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's a multi-billion dollar industry also. It brings tax revenue of billions to our states. Now over 950 people are arrested daily for marijuana-related offenses. This is truly unjust. So we must end this failed policy of marijuana uh, prohibition, which has led to the shattering of so many lives, primarily black and brown people. And yes, that is extremely important. It's time to repair the damage. It's time to provide equal justice for those who have been unduly incarcerated. Public opinion support this. In fact, over 50 years ago, the National Commission on Marijuana and Drug Abuse, or General the Schaefer Commission, time has formally recommended to Congress General that this be done. Time We're doing it today. Thank you again.